thing here at the PFL weigh-ins in the Virgin Casino. Place named after Jeff. <laughs> What's going on, man? Not too much. Yeah. You and your gum. Always happy with the gum. Yeah, need the gum. Yeah. So how's the uh, how's life treating you? Uh, I ain't complaining. Yeah. Don't ever help anyway. Nobody listen. No. no. I'd listen to you, Jeff. I don't believe you. I would. I'd listen. I'd sympathize. I'd empathize. All right, Jeff, what's going on to you? Uh, how's the uh, PFL stuff going? A little different for your normal training regimen, I guess. Mm, yeah. I mean, but it's, it's, it's great. I like it. I really like it. Very energetic with the one round. And um, each round is fresh. No, I like it. With the training, so you're normally a one-on-one -on -one guy, so you're having to do these group sessions. How's that? How's that like? Well, I mean, when it's fight night, I try to get as many as I can right before they're getting ready to go in. So it's it's still it's still like still kind of like one-on-one, -on -one, still almost a, just a little bit harder because you gotta you gotta keep up with everybody. Uh. So we've got a what, four month season here? Where are you off to next week? Um, well, actually, we're going to be off for two yeah. weeks. After mm -hmm. that, we, we, don't have, we don't have no more buys, and then we got to go. We're going every week. Mm -hmm. All right, our first question Tyson versus AJ, prime for prime. Um, I'll say. Tyson. Yeah. What's, what's Tyson? Well, since they're saying prime for prime, I'm assuming they mean Mike Tyson because I would guess you'd think you just say AJ versus Tyson. Well, I mean, Fury. You could be saying Fury, but. Or I'm saying Mike Tyson. Oh, okay. I say Mike. Yeah. How about uh, Jake Paul versus AJ? Oh, I like Jake Paul. We killed. <laughs> what? The hottest prospect in boxing right there, Jeff. Yeah, that's what they say. That's what they, they know. They know. All right, guys, uh, fire away. Whatever questions you got, we'll get to as we can before we start here. Waiting for the way in the PFL here. Um, hit that super chat. Help support the channel if you can. Otherwise, we might get to your question. We might not. Slow day here, though, Jeff. This might be a quick one. Nobody wants to talk to you today. Well, that's nice. Yeah. I'll talk to you though. I'll listen. What else is going on with you, Jeff? How's uh, how's Joseph Brown doing? Well, he's doing good. Um, trying to um, get him on another one of uh, Floyd's shows, so we can get get his career started. But um, TMT. Now, that question is, Jeff, did you expect anyone you fought was in the juice? But I don't think even, I don't think that stuff was even invented when you were fighting yet. What was that? Did you, did you suspect anyone you fought was on the juice? Some steroids. But I don't think steroids were invented yet. Yeah, I'm sure steroids were invented long before that. Did anyone you fight you think they were, they were juicing? I don't know. I don't know if I ever fought nobody that juice, but I don't know. Anything happened. Mm -hmm. I think that they, I think they, they trying to probably find it easier now than they did before. Mm -hmm. Josh says I don't have any questions, but you rock, Jeff. I don't know what that must be. Look, <laughs> wait. Yeah, we only got ten people, and this is gonna be quick. It's gonna be a quick one. All right, yeah, even box fans. I can't be the only one on here. You, I think you are, man. You're the only one that wants questions. But, uh, let's see. All right. Well, hell with it. That's it. We'll let it go there. Just one of them days, I guess. Maybe maybe your thumbnail wasn't pretty enough. They saw it and went running. Maybe. Yeah. Floyd Mayweather or Jack Johnson? That don't make no sense. <laughs> one's a heavyweight. One's a, one's a uh, the highest weight is 47. Yeah, There's but no back sense. considering how old he is, I still... I think Floyd might beat him. Yeah, I don't know about that. 
I think Ayers make fights. Weight classes for a reason, too. You think Canelo could beat? Canelo today could beat Jack Jones? Nope. No? no? I think he could. Thoughts on R.G. Moore and who did Floyd look up to? All right. As an icon. So, so first of all, thoughts on R.G. Moore? R.G. Moore is a great fighter. Um, went up with a few weight classes and did good. He's a good fighter. Who did Floyd look up to as an icon? I think he looked up to Muhammad Ali and probably pretty much again, probably, you know, looked up to his dad. Do you think, well, do you think maybe, because it was kind of weird, not that he wasn't a legend and obviously one of the greatest of all time, but a lot of people were surprised when Floyd put his top five all time. He had uh, he had Roberto Duran in there. So did, did he look up to him a lot? or? Um, he could have. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, Duran was a great fighter. I mean, I, and he is, and of course, like I said, a legend, but not many people have him in their top five. So it was kind of, I know Blocker were kind of shocked when he had him in his top yeah, five. Yeah, I mean, it didn't surprise me, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, were you saddened today by the passing of O.J. Simpson? Thoughts on that? Of course. Mm -hmm. He was um, innocent, I heard. Like it when, when nobody passed. Mm -hmm. It's a horrible thing. Well, when Saddam Hussein passed, you were in, in Osama bin Laden was a horrible thing. You're going to get yep. yourself in trouble, Jeff. Why? <laughs> uh, we killed him. What's that? A president killed him. Yeah. All right. Uh, Still was sad for him to die. All right, guys. I guess we'll wrap it up there. We got no one in here, man. We can get set up for work anyway. Zhang versus Wilder prediction. Who? You don't probably know Zhang, though. The big. Oh, the big. Uh, yeah, against Dion. I don't know. I kind of like. <clears throat> Both lost to Joseph first, Parker. Yeah, but I, I, I think I would have. I would have went with Wilder, but I think that the fights with him and. Him and Fury are just showing up now. Mm. And so, I mean. Maybe, I the, the, maybe, the wars with the, maybe the wars with Fury took it out of him. I think so. I get, hold on one second, guys. I got to. There we go. A little more comfortable for me. All right. Uh, let's see what else. Aki Bono died today. Who? Aki Bono. He was a big Yokozuna dude, uh, the first American Yokozuna. It's a Yokozuna. They're like the highest level of the uh, sumo wrestlers. Oh. Yeah. He died at 54 of a heart failure. Surprise, considering he was like 500 pounds. Well, that's probably why. Yeah. Uh, when? When what? They all died today, if you ask when Akibono or OJ died, it was today. Uh... Who's your uh, oh, Boots versus Crawford prediction? Who you got for that? Um, that happened. That's a pick 'em fight, I think. I mean, I lean slightly, slightly toward Crawford because I've seen him against much better fighters and still be able to apply what he does. In Boots, um, haven't had those type of fighters in front of him yet. But I know you're a big fan of his, though. No, I'm a big fan of him, definitely. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say I think it's, I think it's a great fight. He's a guy can win, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Top five fighters of all time. You want to throw your top five out? You think off your head, top of your head? Um, let me see. Muhammad Ali. Shigway Robinson. Um, Floyd Mayweather. Senior or junior? Junior. <laughs> um, Parnell Whitaker. Mm -hmm. And Michael Nunn. Michael. He was second to none, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> I love when people ask these questions. Like, you're going to, Jeff, please name one fighter who you think would have, in the prime, would have beaten Floyd at any of the weight class he was in. Like, you're going to say, oh, yeah, so and so would have beat him, so and so would have beat him, you know. Well, and it's just me saying that because he never got beaten. Yeah, and you don't think, well, I mean, yeah, in either way, it's, yeah. Just, I mean, he was in 
four different weight classes. So, if he was gonna lose, which weight class would have been it? Forty-seven then, or fifty-four? I mean, gotta be the heavier weight classes, right? Yeah, it would have to be a heavier weight class, I would think, because when he was in the when he was in one thirty, he was he was killing people. He was knocking them out and everything. But yeah, I think at forty-seven would be probably his best challenge. It was. It was when when he fought um, Shane Mosley. Yeah. Or yeah. Jack Johnson at heavyweight. That'd have been the toughest one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or well, Jack Johnson for real, sure would have. You, I mean, you, so you man, weigh 100, 190 pounds. Do you think like any? Let's say, let's say any guy like light heavy. Do you think Jack Johnson could be any competitive light heavyweight of today? I don't think so. No, yeah. I don't think he could. But like a or like a Bivol or. So, yeah. but when you're talking about weight classes, weight classes still mean something. Yeah. If a small guy get hit by a guy that 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 size and that big, well, how heavy was he? Really can, can probably knock you out. But they weren't cutting weight back then. How heavy did Jake Johnson even get? I mean, I know Floyd never got like above 155 or something when he was out of shape. But I mean, how heavy was Jack Johnson? 180? I don't, I don't know. Probably 180, 190. Hmm. Uh, what, someone's going for refrigerator shopping, Jeff. They want to know what kind of refrigerator they should get. You like a Whirlpool guy, a Samsung, a Kenmore? Hmm. Kenmore? I don't think they even make those anymore. I think that's a Sears brand. But Well, you said it. I just was offering suggestions. You're, you're the expert on refrigerators. I'm not. No, I don't know much about refrigerators. <laughs> Please rank the four kings this era. Tiafimo, Devin, Shakur, Tank. As what? I don't know. Best to, to least best. The least best. Or least best to best. Well, I mean, I would say I would put Tank first. Maybe, maybe Devin second. And... And who else? Shakur and Tifimo. And I will put um, probably Tifimo then Shakur. I mean, I'm looking at what the work they've already done. Tifimo is kind of strange. Right? Like he's, I've never watched well, him. But he's on and off. Yeah, that so one fight he looks like he's the best of them all. And the next one he looks like he doesn't even belong in the same conversation. Is that right. kind of weird with him? Uh, let's see. Do you think any heavyweight in history beats a prime Lennox Lewis? Any heavyweight in history? Yeah. Um. Chris Lovejoy. Yeah, um. What's his name? Who knocked him out? Uh, Michael Moore. Or not Michael Moore. Uh, Michael uh, Moore. Oliver McCall. Oliver McCall. Oliver McCall did it. Yeah. That's right. So, don't ask a question that makes no sense because you've already been knocked out by somebody. Uh, how often should a fighter box in a year? Um, if he's not injury prone, he should be trying to fight almost every every other month if you're just starting his career yeah you know, yeah once you get more money fights yeah not, not as much obviously right uh let's see what qualities make a great fighter um being able to master your jab um having you know great defense and then you gotta have God's gifts. And that's hand speed and high IQ of what you're doing. Ooh, guys, I'm gonna cut this here. I'm getting a little dizzy. All right, guys, we'll come back again. Sorry, man, I gotta take a little break here. We gotta ready for his wins. He can't stand up on his own. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> 